All right, guys. So I'm gonna introduce you into what I do to pay for derby cars and all that good stuff. So we put in the conduit for fiber optic cable and we are out by the Tetons. There they are right there. But I'm gonna show you guys what it takes to build a fiber system. Uh, they have it in town, but they're bringing it out into the country park. But I'll show you guys what it takes day to day to to light up a home with fiber optic cable. So what the equipment that we use is a RT-115 quad track with a 42 inch blade. And we can put up to three conduits in it, two inch and a quarters and a one inch. Uh, the majority of this is uh, two inch and a quarter uh, conduits. Uh, so we have my dad's truck that's hooked up to a reel trailer that has the conduit on it in 7,500 foot reels. My truck always has a dump trailer on it. There it is over there. But I've got the dump trailer and a mini X. I do uh, dig downs and set the hand holes to where they do the splices and the drops to the houses. And my dad, he, he likes sitting on the plow, so. And that's his thing, he likes to do that. And I like running the Mini X, so it works out awesome. And yeah, so tomorrow I'll show you guys what it takes. So we've plowed. I would flip the camera around, but I don't want to stitch a whole bunch of videos. But so we've plowed through this and ran it over. The stuff's super hard throughout all this. And I'm not sure if we're gonna be going north or go back down to the west when we start plowing again. But yeah, I don't have my tripod or anything, so while we're going, I'll take a little bit of video, show you guys what it's all about, but it's pretty unique. A lot of people have never seen it. And so I'll show you what it's all about. So I will show you guys a little bit. So here's Here's the existing copper cable. It gives you about 15 megs a second or roughly. Sometimes you can get 30 on a good day. Fiber is usually a gig a second. Uh, yeah, we have same guy that sponsors my derby cars. We rent a dump trailer from him. And then we rent the other two pieces of equipment that we use. But So right here, plow broke down yesterday we had it all apart i'll stitch a picture in the weights inside the vibrator on the plow because it shakes it up and down we had to tear the whole thing apart last night uh we got mistold information and or had or we had it backwards i don't know but this morning we got it all back together so Sorry, got a call. But yeah, so I have to do a tie-in with couplers. Those are pretty neat. They're a push coupler. Yeah, we're building, I think this this phase is 13 miles. And we've been at it for about three weeks now. So I'll, uh, I'll tag you guys along tomorrow and show you what we do. And there's the real trailer and stuff up there our sign broke so we got to get that fixed or get a new sign or something but i'll show you guys tomorrow so we're out here plowing we just got started So we plowed across this road and got 
got the mini over here with some meal tape and pulling eyes and it holds the conduit from getting pulled under because there's a lot of tension on the chute. But I'm gonna take you guys over. I'm actually just gonna throw this all in one video, but I'm gonna take you guys over. Um, we're gonna set a hand pole, show you how we do that, where we've already plowed. So like right now, he's on a rock. But the, the plow has so much power and from the vibration, it breaks through the rocks. Yeah, I think it's pretty neat. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, it like swings over.